Hello guys, um, it's me again. I have a new video again on NMCLI, Network Command Line Interface. So in this video, we are going to talk about the Network Command Line Interface, which is another thing achieved of the, N, uh, the network, uh, the NM3, right? The NM3, which is the Network Manager Command Line uh, Text User Interface. So here we are going to talk about uh, how we can look at the man page and example. We are also gonna check on our check on our uh, NIC information with NMCLI. Understand the outputs that it gives and understand what is the NIC, uh, what is the device, and what is the connection. Understand what is the UID, the UUID, and also create a connection and attach an IP uh, and attach it to an existing device. Okay. Then we are also gonna configure a static IP address version four on that connection. And we, we see how to bring up and bring down a connection and also uh, connect and disconnect a device and finally delay the configuration. So for this, you first need to have a snapshot, okay? So first, so first, uh, oh, check a snapshot. Oh, sorry, snap uh, shot, yep. So first you have to take a snapshot, okay? Take a snapshot of your VM, of your virtual machine, okay? So in my case, I already did that. So if I come here, you will see that I have a snapshot already and it is up and running, okay? So let me jump right into that uh, server. Well, let me jump right into that server. So here's the server, okay? So the first, the first thing here is to look at the man page, okay? So for that, here are the man pages for it, okay? So the man page here, you can see that we have the NMCLI and the say in the description, NMCLI is a command line tool uh, for controlling network manager. And, and reporting network uh, status. It can utilize as a, it can be utilized as a replacement for NM applet or other graphical clients like NM3, for example, NM3. NMCLI is used to create, display, edit, delete, activate, and deactivate network connection as well as control and display network device status. See NMCLI, NMCLI dash example session seven, okay? For ready to run NMCLI uh, examples. So now on the other side, I've opened that already, which is here and you can, you can check and see that I have that session open. So if you are wondering how I did that to open this session number seven, you can just come to your, you can just come to your uh, terminal and type man, man, and then put the session that you want. And then it was NMCLI dash examples. Oops. All right, let's yeah, examples. And then when you type enter, you will you will have it. Okay, so that's how I, I got it. All right. So they have uh, <clears throat> uh, in which case this uh, this tool is being used. It is used for especially for server that doesn't have server that doesn't uh, that uh, servers that don't have the the GUI. Okay. All right. Most of the time it's like that. But you can also use it on a server that has a GUI. These are the options and uh, some uh, other stuff that goes along. You can read on that. I'm not going to focus on it. Okay. And uh, they have some uh, ready examples as well. There are some examples that are already, there are some examples here and they have also here. Here are where you are going to find the examples to, to work with it. Okay. All right, so um, so let's go to the next 
to the next uh, since that we know how to check the to check that already. Now check uh, check our NIC information with NMCLI. So how do we check the information of the NIC card with the NMCLI? So for that, I'm going to come here and then clear this. And to check, you can basically type NMCLI first like this, and you will have this nice output, okay? So it resembles a little bit the IP ASO or the IP config. Okay, here you can have the information about your <clears throat> information about your network that you are using. And uh, it seems like I have a NAT. You can see here that I have a NAT. A NAT. Okay, so uh, I want to use the real one, not the NAT. So I'm going to come back here and try to change that to Bridget Adapter. And uh, now, if I try, if I try to do that again, we should see that now it has picked up a new IP address. So you have your MAC address here and all other information that, uh, that are useful, okay? All right, so that's basically how you can do first. And uh, also, you can type, for example, uh, NMCLI, NMCLI, and then uh, NMCLI general, general status, to check the status of your, yeah, to check the status of your connectivity. And you see here that you, you have, you are fully, connected okay and it says wi-fi enable and whatever so now uh it's time to do something else and here you can see that we have what we have um okay so here we already checked the information now understand the outputs okay understand the outputs throughout the, what you are going to explain here, we're gonna understand those, those outputs. So what is a device? So in uh, so when you want to do NMCLI, you type tabulation twice, you will see those different stuff here. You have, for example, device, connection, agent, networking, radio, monitor, and whatever. So here we wanna focus on device and connection okay so a device is a physical device that you attach to your to your network uh, to your server okay so like for example like for example here here's a device a eh? network adapter that i have at the software level okay so at the software level it will give some names okay and those names and those names you can you can check them with the NM, with the NMCLI. Oh, I already type NMCLI, and then type the first entry, which is device, okay? Which is device, and you type enter. So when you type like that, it will present you with all the devices. You will see here device, so meaning this is the physical device, okay? And now the type of that is an Ethernet, and the state is currently it is connected the connection here the connection that is made on it is enp03 so don't be confused with enp03 and enp03 here here is just the connection and here is the the device okay now what is the what is the connection the connection is just a name that is being made up out of the of the device so the device most of the time is not changed, okay? But the connection can be changed, all right? <clears throat> all right, so uh, now we are going to, we are going to, um, yeah, so you can type NMCLI device and then for example, in uh, show, okay, show. And then you put the name of your device, which is this one, ENP03. And it is going to show a bunch of information again. Okay. So here's where it starts and here's where it 
end. It is going to show all those information, like uh, the GNS that you're using and uh, all other information that it needs to, to have. All right, so if you want, you can type enter and we have the end of line. All right, so good so far. Now, um, that, that, that is that. And let's understand about the connection now, okay? So to understand the connection, you type NMCLI. If we tabulate twice, you will see connection here, okay? Now we type connection and then type enter. Now you will see that the connection is strictly attached to the device, okay? On the device, on the device, when we type NMCLI device show, you, you saw that the device were connected to the, were related to the connection name ENP03. So here you can see now that here's the name of the connection and here's the name of the device. And here's the UUID, okay? So the UUID is the universal unique identifier, meaning you can have multiple names like this, okay? multiple name, ENP03, 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 but the UUID here that is being generated, you don't have to take care of this, it's gonna be generated automatically by the system. The UUID that you are, that is being generated will be unique, okay? It will be unique so that you can easily um, delete the, the name without affecting the, the, the whole, um, you can easily delete the, the name, yes, without affecting the rest of the configuration that you want it to do. Okay, so we already understand about that. All right, we already understand about the UUID as well. And uh, create a connection, okay? So now it's time for us to create a connection. Create a connection, uh, connect, create a connection attached to an existing device. So you have to get a, you have to get an existing device. And um, basically if you add another device to your machine, you will have another one, maybe ENP08, depending on your case. So here now, how do we add a new device? A new, uh, a new, a new uh, connection, okay? So to add a connection, most of the time you type, for example, this is just an example, okay? This is how you type it. So basically you have to type NMCLI, con. Con here means you can do a, you can just type connection or you type just short like that, okay? Add type, and then here we are going to create it like this, okay? So you can see, here is a very good example. We are going to create Ethernet, okay? And now we are going to use the interface. So we are going to give the, 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 the connection name, okay? Whatever we want, but for the interface, it has to be one that is available. So let's go and do that, okay? Let's go and do that. So here, I'm gonna type now, and also remember, you have you see that I have a pound sign here, meaning I'm who. So if I tell who am I, you see that I'm a, I'm a root user. Okay. So now I can type uh, NMCLI uh, connection. So I can type con or connection by tabulating. So connection add, for example. Okay. Connection add, and now. What is the type of the connection that I want to add? It's an Ethernet, right? Ethernet, all right? So meaning it's a NICAD. Now, um, what is the connection name? Con dash name. What is the connection name? Now I can make up the connection name by putting, for example, Molabo uh, Linux, okay? So here's the connection name. And now the interface has to exist. So the interface if name, okay, that's the interface name, it has to exist. And in our case, we have ENP03, okay? So ENP03, 
zero s3 if i type it it will go through if you put something that is not there on the system it will not go through so now i will type enter and you can see that i have a newly generated ip address uh, i mean uuid and you can see this one is 0278 now let me check that new connection we just created so you remember how to check the connection nmcli connection and you can see that I have more labeled mix, and here I have the UUID, and the type is Ethernet. Okay, and we specify the device, but since we don't we don't have the configuration on it yet, it is down. Okay, so now I can create a new one. Okay, I can create a new one, and with the same name, but you will see that the UUID. So let me type like this again yep the, and they say here there is another one that is already created okay with this uuid and we just added this one so if you look very well um to the connection by its uuid uh this is not true right this is not true i don't know okay so let's check the uh, let's check the connection now. So you see that those connections here we had the same name exactly, right? But now if I want to delete this, if I want to delete this one, okay, if I want to delete uh one of them, I have to refer to the UUID because if I say NMCLI uh connection delete and then I put more labo Linux both are going to be deleted okay and this is not what i want so instead i can copy the uuid here okay and put that in a place here okay so that's what i wanted to show you you can see now i don't have my my uh my connection name so i'm going to create it again okay so i'm creating it and if I want to delete it, delete. If I create two, I want to delete them. I will put the UUID here instead. Okay. Now that we have that, uh, we have attached it to the existing device. Now configure a static IP address version four on the connection. So to configure the static IP address, make sure that there is no device that is using that IP address in your network range so i can type ping okay so basically if i type uh, um, route route uh, oh dash a oh no it's not dash a yeah um Okay, I want to see the routing, right? And I think even with this one, we were able to see that uh, with the NMCLI. NMCLI, yeah, it's a really powerful command. So you can see my route here, route, yeah? This is the network, okay? And here's the IP address that it has. So if I want to assign a, an IP address to a, to another, uh, to another uh, connection, I have to make sure that the IP address is within the range and it's not uh, it's not being used by any other device. So here in my case, I'm going to ping, uh, for example, 10.0.0.97, okay? And then I will type enter. So if it is unreachable like this, destination host unreachable, it means that I can use that IP address. Okay, uh, that's not I one. Yep, and good. So now I can safely use it. So now to add a static IP address, uh, you have to you have to configure it. Okay, you have to uh, you have to configure it. There is a way to do that. So before we do that, I want to move to this directory slash etc uh, sysconfig and uh, network script and if i could go here you see that i have this interface here okay so if i do cut on on that 
on Mauler Bolinix, you will see that it has those information with the UUID and it is attached to the ENP03. Okay. So now, so now if I look, you can see that currently my, my ENP03 is using which IP address? If I do IPA, IPA show uh, ENP. 0s3 we see that it is using the it is using this one okay it's using this one dot 19 just ping 97 okay so now i can type nmcli uh, connection modify because it is already there right modify and now what do I want to modify is more label Linux connection that I want to modify. Okay. It's more label Linux. Now, now that I'm modifying that, what do I do? What do I want to, to put there? So IP version four dot address addresses. So if I have a range of address, I just put double code like this and I put my IP addresses. But here I'm just going to put the, the a single one 10.0.0.97. Okay. And now don't forget the subnet mask slash 24 in my case. Okay. I cannot put slash eight or 16 because it is not within the range of my network. And now um i will add the ip version 4 so basically we will just type like this or we can type a long line okay so i can type enter okay and if i check if i check that file again you will see that it has added the ip address and the, the prefix now let me do that for the gateway as well so if I do for the gateway, gateway, okay. If I do for the gateway, you will see that if I do for the gateway, I type the gateway and then I type enter. And if I check again, you will see that the gateway has been added. Okay. Now, if I do that for the <coughs> DNS, Sorry that for the DNS. And I will use the Google one with two DNS. Okay. So uh, a dot a dot eight and then a dot a dot uh, four dot four, for example. Okay. And I will type enter. And if I check, I will have two DNS, you see, right here. And now I want to tell you that this is a manual configuration because you can see here that it is trying to take a DHCP. So basically, if I restart, if I start that service, uh, that uh, NIC, NIC, uh, uh, NIC connection, right? It is going to override my configuration and try to get an IP address. And I don't want that. So I'm going to do, I'm going to call back the command and tell him that we want IP version four dot <clears throat> method, okay? That method, and we are going to say, it's going to be manual, all right? So now if we check, that GCP should have gone, okay? So let's see, and there we go, it has gone, all right? Now uh, we, want to, we want it to be able to start on boot time, but I think it doesn't work it because it is, uh, it's not worth it because it is already set up to be up and running uh, in boot uh, on boot time. Why? Because if the server restart, the server is going to to uh, to bring it up. It is going to restart with the server as well. But if it was no, uh, every time I will have to come here to come here on this icon, for example, and try to to set it up. Okay, so you can see that I have two. I have two here. I have the, this one and I have this one that has been created. So now, now that is there, right? So we, we've done with this. Okay, we've done. 
So uh, now we have to bring up and bring down that connection and see how it works, okay? So now, before we bring it up and bring it down, let me check again, NMCLI connection. And we can see that we have, we still have this. And if we check on the device, and we still have this. You can see that for the device, as of now, it is it is connected to this one. So now, if I do NMCLI connection up, okay, to bring it up, connection up, and I will put the name of my connection, which is Monlabo Linux. So now you can see that Monlabo Linux is up and running. And if I come here again, and I click here, I will see that now Monlabo Linux has been picked up and this one is down, okay? Yeah, so now let me check that with the uh, NMCLI just like this. Okay, you can see that it has taken my IP address and everything is working as expected. Okay, now I can, I can now bring it down. So what is this, what is the principle here? If you look here, for example, on device, you will see that now the ENP03, okay, is connected to, to this, to this, uh, is connected to this connection. So that's why I say that this one can stay, right? Because it's the physical one. You can also rename it if you want. But this guy here, it is the one that you make, you make it up, okay? Make it up, yeah. So if you check on the connection, you will see now the connection here is up and this guy here, is down, this connection here is down, okay? It was the same thing from the GUI that we saw. Okay, now how to bring it, how to bring it down, down. So to bring it down, right? I will simply type the reverse command that was up, I will put here down, okay? If I put it down, so what happened is that it has switched back to the, other one, ENP zero S three, and we can verify that at the at the at the command line level. You see that Monlabo Linux now is is a uh, white, and that guy has turned green. Okay, and it is connected to this to this device. So that's how we we do that. Okay, now how to connect and disconnect a device because we can also connect and disconnect a device to uh, prevent it to start, okay? To automatically start. So how to do that? To do it, we type, uh, so if you see right now, I have uh, NMCLI device, okay? So on this, this device is up, okay? This device is up. So if I bring it down, I'm supposed to have this guy, this icon here on the top right side where you see the battery, the speaker, and the network, the nick, uh, the nick sign. So I'm supposed to have it vanish. Okay. So now let me type NMCLI device disconnect. Okay, disconnect. This is to disconnect it. And now I will type what? I will type ENP. So see here that I'm not typing more label in because if I try to type more label Linux and I type and I try to tablet, it won't go through because it is not it is not uh, a device. So I will type ENP OS3 and then type enter. So you see now that you have this disconnected. So for some Linux server, sometime when you start them, you will see that you don't have this icon here, okay? Like just right now. And if you check on the IP address, we see that it is disconnected, okay? That it has two connections available. So now to bring it up, to bring it up uh, again, to bring it up, right? You just have to, 
to connect it back, you just have to type uh, connect, okay? So you can also check that it is done with NMCLI device, okay? And you see that it is disconnected. So meaning you cannot have a, a IP address on that for now. So now I will put like this and just come here, remove the disk and type connect and I have it coming back again, okay? So that's how we do that. And now how do we delete the connection? So I already show how to delete that, but if you didn't uh, see that very well, now it's time for you to check on it again. So NMCLI connection, you see that I have this guy here. Now, let me delete with you UUID just to see if that will go through, okay? So NMCLI connection, delete, okay? Connection, delete, and then we will put the, we put the UUID. And if we type like this, the connection has been deleted. And if we check again, we don't have it. So we have successfully finished all this, okay? So how many tasks did, did we have? We had how many? So um, we have a lot, right? <laughs> we have a lot. So I will come here and do this. And you can see that we had 12 tasks to do and we went through all of them. So see you at the next video. Please consider putting a like, a thumbs up, I mean, and if the video wasn't uh, worth it, please uh, put a dislike and also comment, leave a comment and just to tell me what is the next uh, subject that you want to see in my videos and also share with people who really need it. So take care and check on my other videos. Thank you.